once you have the goal card, then, like I said, you start taking one step, one step. You get in the car, you're in the dark, you turn on the headlights and you proceed with whatever you know how to do. The research, the resource, the one person that you need to call, whatever it is. You know, like, for instance, when I have people who say, oh, well, I've been trying to do a website for the last six months. Okay, first of all, what are you doing a website for? And is that what you really want? Or do you really want to do that? Or is it somebody else who wants you to do that? Okay, if you really want to do it, and you've been trying to do a website for six months, what stopped you? There are so many resources out there. You don't have to make the website. You don't even have to write the content for the website. You don't even have to take photos of yourself for the website. You don't have to do anything. You've got all these people who would be like soldiers that get in line and start making it all happen for you. So every time you hear yourself saying, well, I'm trying to write a book. I'm trying to be an author. I'm trying to start this company. I'm trying to find an angel investor. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of, I'm trying to, I'm thinking of, you're still in the beagle. You still haven't made the commitment. You're still not emotionally involved. And if you can't get emotionally involved with it, if it doesn't light your fire every time you think about it, you know, one of the songs I always play, and it's one of my favorite Frank Sinatra songs, I played it last week in conversations with Bob, is I've Got You Under My Skin. That is an amazing song because it's all about me thinking of my new goal. I've got you under my skin. You know, if you listen to that whole song, it's all about you talking to the end result you saying, oh, yeah, I've got this. I'm emotionally involved. This is in my life and it's under my skin and I am not going to let it go. I can't let it go. It's in my skin. It's in my soul. It is rocking and rolling. So as you get that visualization going, you keep that strong every day. Keep taking the little steps that you know to take. And the road will begin to unfold for you. I know it sounds like a trust thing, and it is a trust thing. I know it sounds like a faith thing. It is a faith thing. But universe has got you. God's got you. Angels have got you. Guides have got you. Everything's got you. And all of us here in your community, we've got you. We can help you. We can send you to resources. If we don't have the resources, we can find the resources for you. You have tapped in to something magnificent just in this group here. You've tapped into something magnificent if you've come into Bob Proctor's world, because there are millions of people who are now connected to each other, and they're not six degrees of separation away from each other. They're like three degrees of separation away from each other. I remember talking with Mark Victor Hansen a few years ago about this, and he said, with the internet, everything changed, because you are that much closer to reaching the person that you really need to talk to to make this thing happen that you're really that much closer. It's not six degrees of separation. I could call Bob and Bob could call somebody and I could meet the Pope. I mean, I'm three connections, I'm three connections away. You know, you say, well, I don't know Bob. I can't really call Bob. Okay. Well, what do you want? What do you really want? And who do you think you could call first who may be connected, who may be connected? You don't have to go to the top. I'm not going to call the Pope and go, hi, I'd like to meet you, Mr. Pope. No. But I know people who know people who know people. You, believe it or not, know people who know people who know people, even if it's a people like me, even if it's a person that is part of your global community here that you're meeting in this world. So stay in touch with this world. Be connected in the Facebook group. Do that kind of thing. Because as you move it into steps and as you move it into action, you move it all into fact. Once it's a fact, It's taking that why idea and inserting it into your subconscious where it becomes the new paradigm, right? It's the new paradigm. What do you do from there? Well, the new paradigm is now the old paradigm. It's time to make another seagull. I remember talking with a guy who was in charge of Bob's coaching program years ago, kind of a consulting coaching program, really wonderful guy. And he actually told me, he said, yeah, he said, uh, I called him and I said, hey, I thought you were going to be on vacation. I was just going to leave you a quick voicemail when you get back. And he was like, yeah, I was going to go on vacation. And I was all packed. I was ready to go. And I realized that I didn't have a new goal card because I achieved my last goal on Thursday. It's Saturday morning. I don't have a new goal card. I canceled my trip because it's time for me to write a new goal card. And I was like, wow, 
I probably would have gotten on the plane and written the gold card. <laughs> but, you know, he had to really sit down and think about what is it I want next? This is not just a ramshackle resolution. This is crafting your life. It's, it's constructing your life, your way. It's like building your own house your way. I have two friends who are building their home in Brazil right now, and they're hysterical. I can't even tell you the detail that they're putting into this house. And they're doing it long distance, right? So they keep getting all these 3D pictures of it, and they're showing me, and they're like, okay, well, we've got this mobile, and we're thinking of hanging it from this stair here, but then we thought maybe we'd hang it over the entryway here. And here that we've got the entryway and this kind of tile, and then we were going to change it to stone on the steps, and the steps look like this. I mean, it's unbelievable how much visual work they've put into creating the home of their dreams. Everything, the whole property, home of their dreams, every single little thing, every single detail. This is how you craft your goal. This is how you craft your life. You've got to get super visual and specific. Those are the two biggest things from the beginning, visual and specific, and craft your life your way. That's how you move from being an A goal person, already done, moving from B goal, blah and boring and moving into the seagull where you really have clarity and you are creating and constructing your life. That's what a seagull stands for.